Hello from Bali. Oh, I miss saying that. <laughs> Welcome to my home. Oh, my little shared villa here in Semenyak. One of the first things I do when I get to Bali or really any foreign country that I'm gonna be staying for a bit of time is grocery shopping. And I always make it a point to start where the local shop. That's awesome. Two full bags of fresh fruits, vegetables, herbs, eggs for cooking less than seven US dollars. Now I'm at the Boule grocery store to buy a few more things that they don't have at the local market. Most of my groceries for the week, uh, less than 15 US dollars, more like 14 US dollars. I'll eat out a meal every single day, so it's usually something pretty cheap, four, three or four dollars. And yeah, it's a really good situation if you are looking to eat inexpensively, live inexpensively here in Bali. Now, the part that breaks my heart is the wine situation, especially after just coming from Spain where wine is excellent and cheap. <laughs> here is not the case. It is expensive and pretty shitty quality. And that's just because of the import taxes and expenses. So wine in Bali is a bad situation. <laughs> Usually I just, I don't drink very much of it when I'm in Bali. Whew, it's hot. I love it. And if you are on a budget while traveling the world, which I spent a lot of money in Europe, so I'm on a budget, I have an Airbnb private villa. Well, it's shared, but you have your own private room a nice, nice size room, aircon, only 11 US dollars a day, which is great. And then I just share a bathroom with one other person. And there's only three people in this entire villa and it's cleaned twice a day. Sometimes the staff will cook for me, which is nice. And nice pool, which I go for a swim every day and Wi-Fi. And yeah, so you can do pretty well if you're living in Bali on a budget. About a 20 minute walk from the beach, so I'm pretty central in the city of Semenyak, which I like. And uh, welcome to jungle. I like the jungle, mountains, and sea combination. So I move between Semenyak and Ubud while I am in Bali. And it seems to work out for me. These dogs, there are Bali dogs everywhere. Some of them I caught that some of them remember me from last year and hello <laughs> there's a really mean one down the street his name is Mole he's a Queensland healer he is a bully and he used to scare me last year when I was living in Bali here and then I started giving him treats all the dogs would wait for me and now they, they were so happy last night when I got into town and they started licking their lips as soon as they saw me, they remembered me and not licking their lips to bite me, licking their lips because I was the nice treat lady that always brought them snacks. Because a lot of dogs in Bali are not fed very well or treated very well. So I don't really make it a point to pet the dogs here. So they have fleas and mange, and but uh, I do give them food. Just got my data plan and a Indonesian phone number. Not bad, less than six US dollars. So I'm squared away and operational. Usually I work on Wi-Fi, but it's it's important to, yeah, to be operational at all times. You can get a one hour massage for as cheap as four US dollars. And pedicures are cheap, all facials, depending on where you go. I am going to be enjoying that. And yes, one of those fish pedicures that you see me get. <laughs> you gotta do that especially after walking so much. Laundry runs about, well, depends how much you have, about $5 a week. And they do everything for you. So that's full service, pressed, clean, all of it, which I like. A lot of people have asked me already if I'm gonna get a scooter while I'm in Bali. You know, there's a lot of brave things that I do in the world, and that's not one of them. I have a, it's a backstory on that. 
I'm a really good rider, a passenger, but I will not be driving a scooter while I'm here. There's an app called Gojek that's just super cheap, super cheap, and that's usually what I do. I just hop on the back of tac or, or scooters, go in the middle of the road. <laughs> These little cuties are calves. The dog was chasing them when I walked outside this morning. It was you, wasn't it? The mean dog. This is normal life. Uh, anyway, so I think that covers a lot of how to do Bali on a budget. Oh yeah, beer. <laughs> Whether you're buying it in bottles, cans. Um, it's good to know I've been educated where to buy the cheapest beer here. And just because I have a lot of local friends, so that helps to know what the, the local price is for everything. Bintang is the beer of Bali about after a week. I am so done with it. <laughs> I'm missing my Spanish wine again. You also have your entertainment, so if you know Bali really well, if you have a lot of friends here, that does not have to cost a lot of money. So really knowing people, knowing how things work uh, can really assist you in staying on a budget if that is your plan in visiting beautiful Mama Bali. A lot of people have been asking me, Amy, you were in Europe and Africa. Why did you just go halfway around the world back to Bali? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, I have been running around for the last six months. <laughs> you walk outside your door and there's cows. Hey cuties, I'll get you guys some carrots. Um, the Caribbean, South America, just running around and which was great, I loved it. I got a little tired. It takes a lot of effort, a lot of mind share. And like I said, uh, Europe, especially Northern Europe is pretty expensive. Uh, so I love the tropics. You know, Bali's easy, I know it well. Love the people, the culture, the language is easy. You can come here inexpensively. And on top of that, I really needed just to sit down for a month, focus my mind share on some projects, specifically one, which I'm happy to announce I am finally, in the next 30 days, knocking out the first draft of my book. There you go, what it's like to live in Bali on a budget and still live really, really well. Oh my goodness, I think it's time to go get a fresh coconut to cure this jet lag. I did not sleep on my 18 hour flight from Belgium and not a lot of sleep last night. My body clock is all messed up. Get some food, hydrate, and take a nap. <laughs> Stay tuned for more adventures and definitely a lot more epicness coming from Bali.